Ready for a moveless adventure in Farming Simulator 22? Join us as we embark on the ultimate farming challenge of building at a minimum colossal 1,000 cattle dairy operation. It's not just a farm, it's going to be a bovine kingdom. Will we conquer the challenges and become the dairy tycoons of Farming Simulator 22? Stick around and find out. If you enjoy this content, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you have that notification bell turned on. Also, leave a comment. We would love to know what you think about our challenge and our dairy operation. Like I said, minimum of 1,000 cattle. And we'll probably go way more than that. Let's jump right into it. Today's video is all about getting ready for the cows. We actually are ready for them. We already have 300 head currently in our cow barn, but we are going to make a whole lot more food and bedding for them. As again, getting to a thousand cows is going to take a lot of work. On our map with the current animal setup, they do take straw. Obviously, if you want to get manure, we'll be obviously producing that. We'll be producing slurry. Uh, but for their food mix, we are going with a dry corn, silage, and hay mixture, uh, as that is what is required on this map, as well as the animal system that we're using. So as you can see, we are starting out today's video harvesting our oats, and that will give us the straw that we need for the bedding for the cows. These oats we're also going to put to good use as we're not going to sell them outright as we're doing everything we can to become our own self-sustainable farm. So we do have a seed production factory and we will be using these oats again to make our own seeds as we get ready for the next planting season. Once we're done harvesting the oats and picking up the straw, we will be moving over to our corn harvest, which will then be taken to our silo, which has a dryer on it. We just got a fresh delivery of propane in, so that dryer is ready to go, and we will get the corn dried and get these cows fed. From a silage perspective, we're gonna tackle it two ways. In this video, we'll show you us chopping corn again, turning it into chaff, and we will take that over to our large silage bunker, we will also be cutting a lot of grass and using that as well. So with both of those going, we should be able to get that bunker filled up quite quickly and quite nicely to get the cows taken care of. Again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment. Are you guys doing any animal husbandry on your farm? If so, what are you doing? Are you doing cows, dairy versus beef, pigs, horses, chickens, sheep? Would love to hear about it. Also would love to hear about how many you have. If we accomplish the cow challenge, let us know also in the comments if you'd like to see a video on how many pigs that we could do. Pigs take a lot more work in getting their food ready, and I think that could be an epic challenge as well. In our next video, you're going to see us take on another challenge to become the peanut butter empire here in the Midwest. We will be tackling that challenge to see how much peanut butter we can make with our peanut butter production factory. So more to come on that in the next video, which will be all about preparing for that and getting the essential crops in the ground that we're going to need to get our peanut butter factory up and running. A little sneak peek, it's obviously going to take peanuts, sunflower to make sunflower oil, and then bees for honey, as we'll have two recipes to make peanut butter. So make sure you stick around as we look forward to that. Again, we do live stream here daily on YouTube around 5 p.m. Eastern. So again, make sure you have those notifications turned on. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. We hope you stick around for the rest of this video and watch it till the end. Enjoy the rest of the time lapse.